синий цвет. Пришлось добавить. I had to add a little background color in blue paint and pink in orange. Marina Cherepchenko mixes paint to make sure they combine together. She believes that this technique makes the ornament sunny and warm. Before starting to paint, artists work on sketches and graphics, then they put pencil sketches to the walls of the temple. Outside the building there will be an ornamental decoration, a guardian angel, which is still in development. Inside we will also adhere to the modern Ukrainian style. There will be three full-length icons inside. Ukrainian ornaments are drawn from the bottom to the top. The work is not easy, the artists say. The temple is painted at a height of four meters. Each master has a safety belt. Artists painted blossomed flowers and ripened grapes around the arced windows and the entrance. The creation of the icon inside the temple will be the last stage of the work. Father Sergei already blessed us, but I have a certain behavior during this work. I think the soul should be clean open, bright, because all the emotional movements of the artists are transferred to their paintings. The icon of the Savior will be painted right in the middle of the wall so that people come in and pray. On the right wall there will be the icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary, further Saint Nicholas the Wonder Worker. The idea to create a chapel temple in Mariupol with ornaments in Ukrainian folk style is the doing of the Archbishop of Donetsk in Mariupol, said he. He was born in Yenakieve and then moved to Donetsk. He left the city after the occupation. Another 18 priests followed him. They held services in Ukrainian language and helped soldiers on the front lines. A unique chapel in Mariupol is the dream of the archbishop. The idea to build a chapel appeared when people came here and expressed their wish to have it. When we go to work or when our children go to school, we can then come in, take a blessing and light a candle for our health. And so we built this kind of chapel. They plan to finish the unique painting of the chapel in honor of the holy martyr Marianne in late September, and then the temple will be consecrated. Reported by Nadia Sukhorukova, UATV.